Okay, welcome back. Now I'm gonna do a demo, I call, I'm calling it brightness of light bulbs in series and parallel. With this demo, we're gonna be able to see and uh, check out various features of the brightness of a light bulb, and then we're gonna combine it with other light bulbs in series and parallel and uh, test out the theory. So one of the first things we can try out in this, uh, in this demo is uh, tr try to prove this equation, power is voltage times current. This is one of the equations that we learn uh, in uh, again electricity so voltage times current gives you the power of a light bulb and then we also have from Ohm's law voltage is current times resistance so then if we substitute that here we get current squared times resistance right so that's an alternate equation for the power equation and then another alternate equation is to get rid of the uh, current I and put it as V over R so if we uh, substitute I as V over R we're gonna get here V squared over R so uh, this one I'm going to be testing out P equals V squared over R. So then what happens if I double the voltage across a light bulb, if V becomes 2V, what should happen to the power? The power should quadruple, right? 4 times P. So if I double the, the voltage of a, across a light bulb, it should shine 4 times as bright. And if I triple the voltage, right? If I triple the voltage, it should shine nine times as bright. So that's one of the things we can see uh, if that works actually. So if I start with a voltage of uh, one volt, well, one volt won't even power that on. So now if I go to two volts, you still can't see anything. Three volts, you see that it's shining but barely, barely. So you don't really see it too well. Four volts, you can see something. So at four volts, it's very dim. So what's gonna happen? If I go to eight volts, right? If I double the voltage from four to eight, right? It should become four times as bright. So let's see if that is true. This is the four volts. This is uh, eight volts. So I'm doubling the voltage, so it should, be four uh, it should be four times as bright. You can kind of tell it got quite a lot brighter. You can't really tell four times as bright, but you can still tell that it is uh, quite a lot brighter, so it makes sense that it's, it's possibly around four times as bright. So you go back down to four, right, which you can barely see, and then you double the voltage to eight, and it's four times as bright. Now if I triple the voltage, right, if I triple the voltage, that means I'm going to go from four volts all the way to 12 volts, right? So then it should be nine times as bright. So let's go to 12 volts. Right? That should be nine times as bright as the first one. It makes sense. That's a lot, lot brighter. We would kind of say, we wouldn't really tell it's nine times brighter, but we would say it's a lot, lot brighter, probably ten times brighter. Okay? The mathematically, it works out to be exactly nine times as bright. So we'll go, back, we'll go back down to four volts. You see? You can barely see. And then triple the voltage. It should be nine times brighter. Okay? So you see? A lot, lot brighter. So that's 12 volts. Now the next thing we're gonna do is I'm gonna put uh, light bulbs in parallel with each other. Okay, parallel means to uh, put them like this. Let's say you have a light bulb, okay, and then put another light bulb, then put another light bulb, right? So if I put two or three light bulbs in parallel, what happens in parallel the voltage across each one will still be the same. Okay, it will still be the same as the, the power source. So if I put 12 volts across one, uh, one light bulb and I, have, I still have three or four light bulbs, they all will have 12 volts. So what's gonna happen? If they all have 12 volts across them, their brightness is gonna be the same as if there was only one light bulb, right? So the power is gonna be V squared over R. If each of them is 12 volts, right? then it should be just as bright. So that's one of the things we can test to see if this works. So how do we put them in parallel? Well, do, to put them in parallel, you keep this light bulb connected. You don't disconnect anything. All you do is you just connect this one to this one. You connect one of the ends of the light bulb to the other one. And then you connect the other, uh, end of the light bulb 
and they don't necessarily have a positive or negative. So you could do either end to either end. So the, this one I'm connecting to this end, and then this one I'm connecting to the other end. You can tell the brightness didn't go down much. So in other words, just as bright as this was originally, it kept its brightness, except now this one also has the same brightness. Disconnect, connect. Maybe the power of this went down slightly, but not significantly. You see, like that. Then you have like that. Now they have the same power, and it's just almost as bright as the original power of the single light bulb. This is why the parallel con uh, construction is one of the best ways of constructing multiple uh, apparatuses in the house, is that they share the same power, right? If you put them across a 120 volt source or 240 volt source, or 220 or whatever it is, they will all have the same voltage of 120 or 220, right? And uh, the other advantage is if one of them burns out, the other one still uh, will work. So for example, let's say this light bulb burned out so that I'm going to be disconnecting it. What will happen? That will retain its power and you can have a multiple appliances plugged in parallel, but if one of them is not working, it's not going to affect the other one. So parallel is a great way of constructing a circuit. See, go like this, like that. It still keeps it, and then disconnect it. That's, that doesn't get affected at all. So if you have one appliance that goes bad, the other ones are still working. So now let's connect the third one. Okay. Same uh, brightness, and then connect the third one. Nothing significant happens to the brightness of the first two. You see? They retain their brightness, and uh, the, all three are just as bright. And I could disconnect any one of them. I can even disconnect the middle one. Imagine this appliance goes bad. The first, the first and the third one are still working. I can have multiple light bulbs. And then if one of them goes bad, the other ones still work. This is the same way as in the Christmas tree ornaments that you have. Uh, what happens is a lot of times there, uh, a set of them are connected in series, but then there's multiple ones that are connected in parallel. That's how the light bulbs in a Christmas ornament work. It's kind of like this. Imagine a bunch of them in series, like this. Okay, then another one, bunch of them in series, a bunch of them in series. If this set burns out, none of the other ones will, in that set will work. That's how the Christmas ornaments, uh, light, lighting system works. But this first and the third will still be working. So anything that's in series will, once one of them burns out, the rest will not work. Okay, so this is called parallel. Okay, now let me show you series, or how series works. Okay. So series, you have the uh, battery like this, and then you have the light bulb like this. So what it means to be series is that they share the same current, not the same voltage, but the same current. The same current goes through this light bulb, then you have another light bulb, the same current goes through there, then you have a third light bulb, the same current goes through there, and then it closed the circuit. So they, sh they split the voltage. So if this is 12 volts, and if they were the same kind of light bulb, they split the voltage into three parts, right? So if this was 12 volts, they will each have four volts. So what's gonna happen here? In my case, my three light bulbs are actually the same power rating, so the same resistance. So if this is R, 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 right? Then you have here, the voltage gets cut in three. So you have here, this is 12 volts, right? So that means this is gonna be four volts, this is gonna be four volts, and this is gonna be four volts. Right, and then so what's going to happen? Uh, voltage goes down from 12 all the way down to 4. So how bright are they going to be? Well, we saw this earlier. When the uh, voltage goes down by a factor of 3, right, the power goes down by a factor of 9. And then you saw that when I illustrated the single light bulb. So if I put three of them in series, they're going to be 9 times, each of them are going to be 9 times dimmer than they would have been if each one was by itself or if they were in parallel. Okay, so let's do this. We'll first do two of them in series. Okay. 
So how do you do series? I'm going to disconnect this. Okay. So in order to do series, you go from the power source to this light bulb. Okay. But what you have to do is from the other end of the light bulb, you have to go to the other light bulb. You cannot go from here back to the battery because you will close the circuit, right? So in order to do a series, you gotta go from here, from this light bulb, from the other end of the light bulb, all the way to the, here, the second light bulb. That's where the series differs significantly from the parallel. You go from the power source to the light bulb, from the other side of the light bulb to the other light bulb. From here, you complete the wiring back to the power source. So you can see here, I have two of them. So what's gonna happen in the case of two? Well, now, in the case of two, if this is 12 volts, okay, they're gonna split the voltage. Six volts, six volts, right? So then what's gonna happen to the power? Power is proportional to V squared over R, if the voltage goes down by a half, right, then the power is going to go down by a quarter. So it's going to be a half of V squared over R. So it's going to be one fourth V squared over R, one fourth P. So the power is going to be one fourth as bright. So you can see here, this is uh, this one is a single one. How bright it is! Then when I go like this and I have two of them in series, the brightness goes down significantly, it's four times less bright. So it's basically equivalent to having just one power, uh, just one light bulb, and then put the, putting the power source on six volts, right? Then that would be the equivalent voltage. We can try that to see if that works. So uh, try, try to look at the brightness of this, and then disconnect this, put this on here, right? Then go down to six volts, You see, that's the same brightness that the two light bulbs had when they were in series, but the power source was on 12 volts, right? See how dim that is? Compare this again, go to 12 volts, and then put these here. You see here? That's the same brightness as the single light bulb on uh, six volts, right? So now let's put the next one in series. How do we do that? Well, then I need another wire to go from here and again to either end, right? Then I connect this uh, light bulb, right? So you go from one to the other, from the other light bulb to this one, from this one to this one. Then from here, you go back to the battery. So this one should be nine times less bright, right? Because the voltage is being split into three, so the voltage goes down by three, and then if you square that, you get nine. So nine times less bright than the than the 12 volts, so it, so it would be equivalent to an indiv individual light bulb being on four volts, right? So again, let's see that, if that's true. Disconnect this, put this here, and put it on four volts. Go back, go down, go down, go down, go down four volts, so that four volts would be equivalent to having all three of them on series. So again, compare that brightness, compare that to this. Okay, go to 12 volts, right? And you see how it splits. Now what I could do also practice this, go down because the voltage is being split. So now what if I go to uh, eight volts? You see how dim they are? That means a series construction is not good because you're forcing each of them to have the same current, right? And they, the voltages will split and it will not be enough to power them, you see? So that's one reason we don't want to use series a lot of times. So it's, not, it's so dim that you can't even see it and it's, already, it's uh, on eight volts. And if I go to six volts, very, very dim, five volts, you can't even see it. You see? So if I had a fourth one, definitely you can't see anything, even six volts or seven volts. So let's go back up to 12 volts. The other thing that's the problematic with series is that if I disconnect one of them, let's say these are appliances, one of them burns down, disconnect, all three of them disconnect, you see? Like this. So disconnect any one of them. The other ones don't work either. So this is what I meant when I said the Christmas lighting 
bunch of them are in series, then they're in parallel with other ones. So the ones that are in series, if one of them burns down, all of them burn down, right? So this is what happens. One of them burns down, any of them, even the first one, right? All of them burn down, right? So that they don't work. So you can see now with this simple demo, you can illustrate a lot of things. You can show the difference between series and parallel. So this one is called a series. You can see the difference between series and parallel. You can show the relationship between power and the voltage, which is power is proportional to voltage squared. You can learn a lot of things and you can see the advantages of a parallel circuit over a series circuit. Okay, thank you very much.